Hello, I'm advocate sports columnist Scott Rabelais with our LSU football beat writer Brooks Cabina. We're here in the Lawton Room at Tiger Stadium for the first of our SEC championship video reports this week, sponsored by Hancock Whitney. Uh, Brooks, we just got finished talking to Coach Ed Ogeron with his, his press conference today. Uh, covered a, a lot of topics. It was Tell the Truth Monday. It was an interesting day. Uh, what, what was the biggest take you had from uh, what Coach Ogeron had to say today? Well, it's it's something that doesn't have much to do with the SEC championship, but he was talking about Joe Brady and saying how we, recently there's been a lot of talk about who's pursuing him and what LSU will do. and. Uh, asked about it, Ed Ogeron said, we're a step ahead. And uh, today, actually, Joe Brady has been named a finalist for the Broyles Award, one of the top assistants in the country, and uh, a large part of the success they've had on offense. So being able to retain that is something that Ed Ogeron and LSU will be monitoring over the next uh, couple of weeks as the season closes. But, you know, the SEC Championship on Saturday, the first one in 2011, I wasn't there. I was still playing high school football, but you were there. I was there so, in 2011, yes. You know, what? What exactly do you think uh, you know, is behind this program going into such a big game like this on Saturday? Well, obviously, I, I think this, the season started with a lot of senior leadership. They, they have a lot of veteran players that came back this year, led, of course, by Joe Burrow being a fifth-year senior, even though it's only his second year at LSU. And, and of course, uh, the whole the whole gumbo of Ed Orgeron saying we have to go to the spread. He talked about that today. And Steve Inzer Inzminger, the offensive coordinator, being able to accept ideas and concepts from a new coach like Joe Brady, and then having a guy like Burrow there to, to make it all work. And of course, they're number two in the country in total offense. Numbers that we thought LSU would be better on offense, but you couldn't have imagined they would be this good. And uh, it's led to, a, a, as you see behind us, a 12 0 season for, for LSU, um, LSU so far. So uh, I talked to Coach too about recruiting. Uh, they, they, uh, there's talk of a, maybe a big commitment uh, later this week. Uh, some coaches have grumbled at times that this cuts into recruiting week, but Ed's always talking about recruiting, but this is obviously what you want to project your program in a good light. Well, you mentioned the big recruiting. Uh, there's a big recruit who announced that he will be committing on Wednesday. Zach Evans is the top running back in the country. Goes to North Shore. That's the same high school as Caleb Anshayasan and uh, safety Eric Monroe. So it could possibly be that. We don't know. But it's uh, it's, it's certainly uh, part of that time. It, I, 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 once you do well, it's, it starts to cut into recruiting. And Ed Ogeron said next week he's going to visit 20 players. So it does crunch some things. So, But he called Joe Burrow um, the biggest recruit that he's had here at LSU. And for all the reasons that they've had uh, success in offense, Joe Burrow's a part of it. You have a Heisman vote. I have a Heisman vote. Do you feel like this is something where Joe Burrow has to decide this on Saturday? Or where do you think that goes into this week? I think because of what happened last year with uh, Tua Tagovailoa losing the Heisman basically in the championship game, uh, I think some voters will, a lot of voters will hold their votes, but he's he's really going to have to have a poor game, I think, not, not to win it. So we'll see what happens on Saturday in Atlanta against the Georgia Bulldogs. We'll be having these video reports here all week, so follow our coverage of the Tigers here at, at theadvocate.com and in the pages of The Advocate. Once again, thank you for watching our video sponsored by Hancock Whitney.